Hey, here's a couple of quick dogfights in Rise of Flight. Uh, here I am in my Fokker DR-1 uh, triplane, and I'm picking on an SE-5A, which is really kind of uh, not very good in this game. They, they're not very good at avoiding you. SE-5A is more of an energy fighter, which the AI doesn't really understand. You're supposed to uh, boom and zoom with this type of fighter, and the DR-1 can just turn circles around it, and, and here I am. Uh, chipping away at it, I damaged, damaged the wings a little bit, and uh, I'm just maneuvering. That's called a high yo-yo to stay uh, to stay behind him. And uh, he's he's trading altitude for speed. Now, if you went in a straight line, he could just he could just take off and leave you behind. But uh, uh, whoa, look out for that! Those flying surfaces when they come come off, they can uh, they can take your own wings off if you if you hit them. So you got to be careful when you're shooting somebody down. Okay, I get a nice close pass right there. That was almost a, a collision. Um, but here I am doing another... Actually, that's more of a scissors maneuver to stay behind him. Uh, and he's just thinking about running at this point. And one final burst. And... Okay, my second fight is coming up. And here it is, right now. Okay, here is uh, Sopwith Camel, and I'm flying against what I was just flying myself, the Fokker DR-1. This is the classic World War I matchup. Um, I take an early shot at him. Just speculative. I don't think it damaged him at all. Uh, I did an early turn on him, so I have no trouble getting around behind him. But uh, he maintained an altitude advantage. Um, but fortunately, he bleeds it away fairly quickly, and I get off a really good first shot on him. And about here. And uh, he loses something very important there. Now, that would take down most airplanes, but the DR-1, well, it's got a lot of flying surfaces, and it's a sturdy airplane, so uh, he keeps flying. He's, he's not going to win this fight, though, not, not with that kind of handicap, so this is all... What happens next is uh, inevitable. Um, he's trying to maneuver some, and I take a snapshot there that's not very good. But now I really can drill him. I can line up very carefully and easily, and just fill him full of lead. And right about here, uh, he catches fire. Yeah, I must have killed the pilot at the same time because he just totally went into a spin without losing any more air airfoil uh, surface. I like how the, uh, the flaming debris lights up the ground in the final moments before it hits. That's a nice little feature there. Alright, that's that. I had fun.